We know that in solids, there is a strong attractive force between molecules. As we heat the solid, this attractive force becomes less effective because of increased vibration of molecules because of heat energy. As the attractive force becomes less and less effective, movement of particles, relative to each other, starts. Addition of more and more energy results in more and more movements, and solid starts converting to liquid. For a given temperature, different liquids showcase different magnitude of relative movement between molecules. This relative movement is measured in terms of physical quantity called viscosity. A liquid is more viscous when there is strong attraction force and relative movement of particles is less. And a liquid is less viscous when there is less attraction force between molecules and there is an easy movement of particles relative to each other. If we compare engine oil and water, engine oil is more viscous force compared to water. Now let's understand what happens when a solid object move in or on the liquid. Now, imagine a boat is moving on water. With boat, water molecules on top layer are also moving. As we move deeper and deeper, movement of particles reduces. Since there is an attractive force between molecules, deeper molecules try to prevent surface particles to move with boat. And to overcome this force boat need to apply more force. Force which prevents relative movement of particles or layers of liquid is called viscous force. More the viscosity, more will be the viscous force and more efforts one needs to put to move layers of liquid on top of each other. If we drive boats on oil and water, boat on oil will consume more fuel because oil is more viscous compared to water and thus more energy will be required to overcome this force.